Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. Today's video on More With Moros is going to be what I like to call a three-in-one. So you guys are getting a grocery haul, you're also getting pantry organization and grocery organization with a little cleaning thrown in there as well. I know you guys really like and enjoy these videos, so let's get started. So I did not organize the food at all. Usually I like to try to put the veggies together, the fruits, the meats, the cheese, everything. I just took everything out of the bag where the bag was. So over here we have some mini pancakes. This is a Fletcher's personal favorite. Some Simply Go-Gurt pouches. And then I got two things of Annie's organic cinnamon rolls. I'm telling you guys, these are 10 times better. 10 times better than the regular ones. Is it Pillsbury? You guys know what I'm talking about. They say that they're organic, but they taste better. And they're bigger, more icing. I'm telling you guys, this is life changing when it comes to cinnamon rolls. And then I got a thing of um, refrigerated biscuits. It's gonna be for my chicken pot pie, my crock pot chicken pot pie, which I've gotten so many questions about. I've seen comments, messages, Instagram everywhere asking for this recipe. So I'll definitely show you guys how to make that. I might do that on my Instagram. I got some so delicious coconut uh, milk yogurt. I got a vanilla and blueberry one. And then I got the Morning Star Buffalo Chick Patties. These are vegan, but guys, put this on a lettuce wrap with a little chipotle mayo. I'm telling you guys, it is so good. I have it for lunch all the time. And then I got a thing of garlic bread. We're also gonna do spaghetti this week. We love this garlic bread. It's by Pepperidge Farm. It's the five cheese one. Then I got a boil and bag brown rice box. It comes with four bags. We're also gonna do a chicken stir fry this week. Some more popcorn. The kids have been loving popcorn, especially since it's now the holiday season. We're doing a lot more movie nights. Um, big box of fruit snacks. This is obviously a kid's favorite. And then Aria requested these Quaker Chewy Yogurt Bars. This is the strawberry flavor. Got some grapes spaghetti. This is going to be for my crock pot chicken pot pie. So you're going to need one can of cream of chicken and then one can of cream of celery, some olive oil because the other week I actually dropped our big, it was full too, big thing of olive oil actually right over here. I was coming out of the pantry, dropped it, oil and glass everywhere. So I got another one of those um, little bites, always a staple in my grocery hauls, uh, bananas. Aria loves these bakerly crepes to go, the chocolate hazelnut one. Um, they have a strawberry one too that she likes. And then I got a couple perfect bars for myself, chocolate mint, that one's my favorite. And then this is a dark chocolate chip, peanut butter, and then a coconut peanut butter one. Sauce packet of pesto, we're gonna do some pesto chicken. I'll take this, mix it with a little olive oil and water and it makes like this paste or this sauce and I'll marinate some chicken in there and we'll do it on the grill, put some mozzarella or uh, cherry tomatoes on top, it's really good. Uh, Aria also requested some Chex Mix, Hawaiian sweet rolls. We love to use these for the kids' lunches a loaf of bread, blueberries and strawberries, blueberry bagels. This is a Harlow personal favorite. She loves to have blueberry bagel and cream cheese in the morning. And they also love these jumbo blueberry bagels from Publix in the morning as well. I got this loaf of sourdough for myself for my avocado toast. I've got some Brussels sprouts, feta cheese for a salad that I love to make. I think I've talked about it before. It has like strawberries and blueberries and walnuts in it. So I got some more of that, some avocados, Onion, that is gonna be for the chicken pot pie. Some mandarin oranges. We got a thing of ground beef. This is for the spaghetti. Frank got some breakfast sausage under here. Some chicken breast. One is for the chicken pot pie. One is for uh, pesto chicken. And then the tenderloins down here is for the stir fry. Got some honey ham for the kids' lunches. The animal smoothies. This one I think has strawberries and, or strawberry flavored and banana. Stick of butter, some blueberry cereal bars. Nolan loves these. The kids all love something different in the morning, but this also makes like a great on the go breakfast that they can also eat in the car. But Nolan loves cereal bars. So I got a blueberry and a strawberry one, I believe. Yeah, the strawberry one's over there. Some oatmeal, cheddar cheese, veggie straws. I love these Crunch Master multi-seed crackers. These are so good with hummus or I'll get like the veggie vegetable garden cream cheese, and I'll just dip them in there. It is so good. Uh, some parsley, I needed to get some more. I ran out the other day. Uh, this is also for the chicken pot pie. Oh, and this cheese dippers. This is by The Laughing Cow. It has like cream cheese and some pizza breadsticks. I usually get the original ones, but they were out of it. 
and they replaced it with this. So we'll see if the kids like those. Some chicken broth, again, for the chicken pot pie. And then I accidentally, I don't know how I did this or didn't notice, but I actually got two things of almond milk, like a big jug. So we do have a refrigerator out in the garage, so I'll just stick one of them in there until we run out of the other one. But I got two things of almond milk, and then I'm gonna try this coffee creamer. I've never tried it before. This is by Califia, I think that's how you say it. Califia Farms, I probably am butchering that. Ah! And it says it's made with coconut too. So almond milk creamer with coconut, interesting. Another box of Little Bites, and then I noticed they now make these mini tart strawberries. So I don't know if the kids are gonna like these. Five pouches, 30 total in here. So I'll let you guys know if the kids like these or not. I got two boxes just in case. And I just realized I got two things of this. What am I doing? I don't know what is going on with me. Packet of taco seasoning. I'm gonna make some um, taco salad for a lunch this week. Again, for the chicken pot pie, this is just frozen and mixed veggies. There's lima beans, carrots, corn, peas, and green beans. You actually don't need all of those. You'd be fine with just the peas, corn, and carrots, but we got all of them in there. Some edamame, this is for the chicken fried rice. Orange juice, lettuce, some cheese, this is for the pesto chicken. And actually everybody in the house loves to snack on string cheese, so I got a thing of that. Some Baby Bell cheese. Frank really likes this Chipotle chicken breast by Boar's Head for lunch, so I got him a thing of that. Some great tomatoes, a thing of salad mix, and then I got some watercress to put onto my avocado toast. Spinach for smoothies and protein shakes. A big jar of spaghetti sauce. Aria requested Cliff Bars, so I got a box of the chocolate chip. And then another box of the chewy strawberry granola, strawberry cereal bar, chocolate chip muffins, and then a big bag of Lay's baked chips. Usually I get the regular kind. Again, they were out of it, so I hope that they like the baked kind that comes with the original Cheetos, um, popcorn, cheddar and sour cream, and barbecue. So I'm crossing my fingers that they'll like the baked just as much as the regular one. So that is everything that I got. I am now going to clean out the fridge. I actually have to wipe everything down. I might have to put some of this food up first but, so it doesn't get too warm, but I have to wipe everything out in the fridge. It is so gross in there, so I'm gonna have to do a lot of cleaning in there and then I'll organize in a little bit and then of course you guys will see how I organize everything in the picture as well. So as I was sitting here editing, I was like, when was the last time that I cleaned the fridge? I could not remember for the life of me, which is probably a bad thing that I couldn't remember because as I was cleaning, I'm like, wow, this is really dirty. And I unintentionally participated in National Clean Your Fridge Day. I had no idea that the day that I was doing this video was that day and I had so many messages from you guys on Instagram saying, did you know that it was national clean your fridge out today? I'm like, I had absolutely no idea and thank God I did. I wish I would have showed you guys more of a close up because there was like sticky stuff. Oh, speaking of sticky stuff, I noticed as I was cleaning, there was tape still on our fridge and it was like to hold that little sliding piece right there. You guys can see like me like trying to move it. It's actually supposed to like make more space in your fridge. Honestly, it didn't at all. I don't really know or understand the purpose of it, um, but I just took the tape off. But anyways, back to cleaning. So all I did was just took some surface spray, a microfiber cloth, and then that seemed to do the trick. And I was just wiping everything down. I actually went ahead and wiped down the bends because I also realized I have never cleaned or wiped those down since I put them in the fridge. Like I've always washed off the shelves and everything like that, but I didn't wipe down the actual bends. So if you guys also have organizers or bins in your fridge, this is your reminder right now <laughs> to go clean them and wipe them out because they are disgusting. I know mine was disgusting. But speaking of the bins, I get so many questions. First, where are they from? And then the second question, why? <laughs> like, what is the purpose of them? Um, so a majority of them are from Amazon. I'll leave the link down below for you guys, the same as all the bins in the pantry as well. But I do have some from Walmart and Target as well. 
I have found that the ones from Walmart are just as good quality and they are either the same price or a little bit cheaper. All right, so now let's get to the why. Why do we have bins or why do you see more people having bins in their fridge? What is the purpose? Is it like too much? Is it a little extra? And yeah, it probably is. It probably is a little extra. Um, but for me personally, I cannot speak for other people for why they use bins. It honestly just keeps me organized. I have found, and I've talked about this many times, that if my house is clean and my house is organized, just like my drawers, my cabinets, my fridge, if it's organized, I mentally feel more organized, if that makes sense. I know everybody operates differently and feel productive in different ways. But for me, I guess the type of person I am, probably type A, but the type of person I am, I have to have things that are organized to feel organized mentally, if that makes sense. And I've also found that with the kids, it is so easy for them, well, to first just see everything, to visually see everything instead of going in the fridge, trying to dig and shoving stuff around. And I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, does it look like this 24 seven? No. It, it will be unorganized a week later, two weeks later. Um, but you know, I do put in the effort, at least I try and it looks temporarily organized, but um, they're able just to see everything. Like for example, I taking everything out of the boxes. I have also found clears up so much space because if you think about it, boxes, they take up so much space and they just get thrown back in the pantry and then they get left behind other stuff. And then before you know it, you didn't know you had it and it's expired and it's just, a waste so for me to put everything in bins this way I can see what I have I can keep inventory and in stock almost like a grocery store but like our own household stock and inventory and then also the kids they can go in visually see everything grab a snack and then they're good to go instead of having to search it or you know regardless everything is at eye level for them so I just love the convenience I love the organizational for myself and then also the kids being able to go in there and get their own snack I know I've explained this so many times but I get that question all the time and I know it's not for everybody I know it's time consuming it takes an extra step I do want to mention that we recycle all of our boxes um, but for us in our household this is what we like to do and I do just take the extra time the little extra time to do it um, but I understand that this is very unrealistic from for some families and for some families you know other methods work just as great so um, I understand both aspects completely um, but what I'm going to show you guys a little bit later in this video is I actually went ahead and made labels for the bins in the fridge now that is what I would consider extra that is just me being my little extra self and wanting to have extra organization and it's it's only for like a visual aesthetic appeal and I just love the way that it looks you guys will see what I'm talking about in a second I put my Cricut to use um, I have got a new Cricut and learn how to use it and I just learned how to do vinyl stickers because it took me forever to figure out the iron on and to get that down pat and now that I've learned vinyl stickers I'm like I want to label and put stickers on literally everything so um, you guys will see here in a second that I put it into use and I start making labels for the fridge again not necessary but I did want to include it in this video just to show you guys the process and also aria she's like been really interested in it as well so you guys will see her here in a second helping me with all the labels So like I was telling you guys, I recently learned how to do vinyl stickers. And for anybody wondering, I have the Cricut Explore 3. And all you have to do, if you guys have a Cricut, there's a software where you can do all your projects. I just listed everything that I wanted to make a sticker of. So like vegetables, fruit, eggs, butter, yogurt, just wrote everything out, put my vinyl on top of my mat, and all I did was cut it out, and I just had to go in. This is like the tedious part. This is definitely the most time-consuming, 
and there's a lot of steps too, but I'm just taking the extra vinyl or sticker out of my letters and getting it ready to put onto my bin. So I am just cutting each label down. Now, one thing I didn't realize until I posted this on Instagram, I had so many people come for me and said, Brittany, reuse the transfer tape because once you take all the extra vinyl out of your lettering, you're going to use the transfer tape to transfer it hence why it's called transfer tape. But basically this is going to act like a sticker and putting the vinyl onto whatever material or surface that you're putting it on. Um, but don't do what I did and cut out transfer tape for each individual label. What you're gonna do is you're gonna reuse which I wish I would have done because I wasted so much of my transfer tape. You can actually reuse it over and over and time again. So I definitely made a mental note of that after the project or after doing this. And from now on in the future, I will definitely reuse my transfer tape. But um, like I said, this was a lot of steps and it was time consuming. And I just wanted to include it because I did do this all the same day and I've been wanting to make labels for the fridge. Um, so I wanted to show you guys this whole process. But I was just thinking not only are these perfect for labeling um, the fridge like I was doing, but also maybe in the future when I have more time um, labeling everything in the pantry, but also you could put this on water bottles. You can make your own car decals. You can do your own outdoor signs. Like you can do so many different things with the vinyl and do so many different labels as well. And like I was saying to you guys before, Aria really wanted to learn. She actually helped me a lot with my iron ons because I've been making shirts and sweatshirts for the kids. Um, but she really wanted to learn how to do this as well. And I had to look this up because I couldn't think of the name like this process right here with the little tool the little spatula thing is called burnishing so you're going to burnish the label or your sticker onto your surface with that tool so that's how you're able to transfer it and then you can peel away the transfer tape and then there you guys go you have your own decal sticker label and yes I went ahead and labeled everything in the fridge <laughs> So that is going to be it for this grocery haul fridge and pantry organizational video with a little bit of cleaning. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video by giving me a thumbs up and obviously let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. What would you guys like to see more of? Would you like to see more of these kind of videos? Maybe I will do a video of lab labeling everything in the pantry or potentially other things around the house. Um, but I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in our next video. Bye guys.